Alors, when and where did you born? In Jackson, Mississippi, 1953. Hey, like me, uh, 1956. <laughs> how, how did you grow up and why did you choose a guitar like instrument? I was able to do more with the guitar than any other instrument that I played. I could express myself better on the guitar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Played drums, trumpet. But the guitar was better for me. Okay. The, is that the parents? Uh, they, they play the music? My father's family, many, many people play. Uh, Leonard Baby Do Caston mm -hmm. with Willie Dixon Ooh. and Czech, Checker Records, Chess Records. Uh, his son was a, was a producer and a songwriter for Motown and, and also Manny Riverton. And one another cousin was G.C. Cameron. He sings with the Temptations now. Okay. And back in 1970, he sung lead for the Spinners, the song It's a Shame. Mm -hmm. So those are all from my father's family. Okay. <laughs> Alors, what are your musical influences? Mm, Bobby Womack in the U.S., uh, Sam Cooke, Albert King. B.B. King, yeah. Lil Milton, mm -hmm. Tyrone Davis, Johnny Taylor, okay. some of the gospel groups, uh, Canton Spirituals, uh, Jackson Southern Ears. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> Alors, how did you be your first professional show? A when? It's a long time ago. Yeah, okay. 1969. Nine. Uh, my father had a friend, his name was John Scott. And he hired me not to play guitar. I also could play the drums, so I played drums in 1969 in uh, Moline, Illinois. Mm -hmm. So I had to travel a long way to play that job. Okay. Alors, talk to me a little bit um, about your career because I saw you with Phil Guy. Maybe for Phil Guy, this is the first time I've saw you. Talk to me a little bit. Well, I guess I played for Bobby Walmack for a brief period, probably about two months. Mm -hmm. Played with Albert King. When? Uh, Albert? Yeah. Also? Yeah, in the 1980s. Um, Billy Branch and the Sons of Blues. I never played in Phil Guy's band. Uh, when you saw me, was in Back New. Mm -hmm. And Phil set in with us. That was actually my band. And, yeah. and Phil set in. Uh, I never played for Phil, but we played together in Chicago. And uh, Chicago, there's are the many, many blues men, there's the jam together. Used to, used to be. Yeah. Not a lot of them there now, but used to be a long time ago, 20 years ago, yeah. Yeah. A lot of them. Do you remember maybe the Omar Sandy on the guitar player? He's playing Omar Sandile, yes. yes. Yeah, he's he's Algerian. Yeah. But he lives here in Paris. Yeah. I met him 20, 20 something years ago. Yeah. On uh, Rudy Echoes. Mm -hmm. He played in a club. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I remember Omar. <laughs> I, I saw him the last time I played at the Meridian, Omar came. Mm -hmm. He came to. Yeah. I remember him. If you know him, <laughs> say hello to him. Please. Yeah, I've, 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 so, uh, this is my, my great, great, great friend. He's like a brother together oh, because yeah. I'm working together for 27, 28 years. And uh, 
is to today is not possible because uh, he stay with the children at okay. home because Wednesday and uh, maybe he's be back here for tomorrow or, or Wednesday or Friday. I hope so. Uh, yeah, because uh, I phoned him uh, later. Okay. <laughs> okay. And uh, because tomorrow, I have, I have the great show on Pura Fe. C'est the Pura Fe. Uh, Pura Fe. C'est the woman. She. Uh, 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 come on. She plays guitar on the lake. She Indian. Okay. Okay. And uh, I've got the, uh, the interview here it's about six months ago. Okay. And the Music Makers Tour, say for to help the old blues men with uh, uh, Bill Duffy. You know Bill Duffy? Bill Duffy is a. I don't know the, him, I know the name. It's yeah. the organization for to help the old blues men uh, for to know also. Okay. okay? Hello, I saw you. <laughs> this three years ago. Hello, how did you meet Phil Guy? He was in Chicago. Chicago? Yeah. Chicago? Yeah. Is, yeah. is Phil, is, is, uh, he's contacted you for, for, for to do the, the French tour? Uh, no, no, no. No, no. I was, on, I had, I was here. He was here. I was already here. Phil came from Italy with uh, he had a, a, he had a band with them called Model T Boogie, okay. from uh, Torino, mm -hmm. and uh, we played in Bagno. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alors, what did you do after 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 Phil guy? Because uh, no news is now. Uh, did you uh, record it? Uh, a new record, your record, you mm -hmm. told me that. Yeah, uh, I did an album called uh, Hold On. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it was out in 2005. Five? But the record company was in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. So when the hurricane hit, yeah. And the levee broke. Mm -hmm. It killed the record company. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, did, did, did you have the, the new CD now? Yeah? yeah? You have the new CD? No. No, no, no. no. It's not possible. Not possible. Uh, when the levee broke, the mm -hmm. water covered. Okay. But you say, I, I walk in for the tribute to the New Orleans musician mm -hmm. last year with Omar Sandy, Mighty Morgers, Ricky Peterson, the show to Paris, and as good tribute for okay. to help the uh, on New Orleans That's musician. Good. Good. Yeah, and, uh, I got the movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's difficult for, for the, the French television because uh, uh, the, con the contact uh, ah, for the New Orleans is very good. The politics and the you have to you have to actually see it. It doesn't look. It's not. It's, it's a lot worse than it looks on TV. Mm -hmm. There's oceans, ocean-going ships, big ships in the middle of streets. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of water. No one can live in certain areas. Yeah. I do some work <coughs> with the churches. Yeah. And we take food and clothes down. We didn't go to New Orleans. We went to. Uh, we tried to go to Gulfport, Mississippi, yeah. and we tried to go to Pascagoula mm -hmm. and Biloxi, but you could only get so close because the roads were messed up mm -hmm. 10, 20 miles away. Yeah. We delivered food, mm -hmm. we delivered clothes, Close. and we had to turn around and come back. Yeah. But I've, I've got the, the interview in Charmin Neville and also uh, Craig Adams, the little son of uh, Fats Domino. Oh, okay. Here, here. Okay. This, this is the same. <coughs> she is, is they are talking with me the problem for. Yeah, I know. I know Charles never. I don't know Charmaine. That's his daughter. Yeah. I never met Charmaine, but I know. I know Charles. Charles. I know 
uh, Arthur, mm -hmm. and also have met Aaron before. Oh. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> this is a good family, it's a Neville brother. <laughs> Very talented. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as they finish school, they're in school. <laughs> <laughs> Alors, the, my question, justement. Okay. Alors, what do you think about Jimi Hendrix? And do you see him? I never saw him, no. No? Um, Jimi Hendrix, when the, most of the people in America found out about him, he was already dead. Mm -hmm. And he was dead when I found out about him, but, you know, it was something different. And I used to play. Mm -hmm. Some of the stuff, yeah. or as much of it, of it as I could. Mm -hmm. so I was a fan of Hendrix. It was just that he was already gone when I when I discovered him. Mm -hmm. This is the first. This is the first time uh, you, you seen you seen uh, video. The... I saw a video Monterey. Monterey. But Killing, uh, killing Floor? Wow. <laughs> yes, my favorite version of Killing Floor is Albert King. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is a good song. Yeah. yeah Jimmy Hendrix, uh, Le Parra. Mm -hmm. Jimmy Hendrix, Parra. Yeah. Me, Le Parra. Okay. And I joined the army to be like Jimmy Hendrix. Mm hmm. But. Jimmy Hendrix got out, they kept me in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hello. Now, you projects is where, is where the festival, European, is where the many festivals? Uh, no, just, just the Meridian and, yeah. and, and home. Uh, you go home? I go record. Yeah. I do a recording session when I go home. Yeah. So, maybe, Next summer I can come back to France and, and do some of the festivals here. Yeah. Hopefully. Oh, okay. Ah, bah, c'est good, ça. Alors, uh, you talk also because I do the report to Omar. Okay. See so you as a message for Omar, Sandy. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, keep your head up, my friend, and keep playing because he's a wonderful guitar player. I like to hear, I like to hear him play, and he's he's my first friend in France. Yeah. Yes, first Frenchman that I meet. <laughs> so, hey, you play. I always remember him. Yes. yes. Hey, you playing with Albert? <laughs> yeah. Omar also. Yeah. yeah. Well, Omar was in Chicago once. And, uh, How we, did you meet him the first time in Chicago? No, here. Here? We play at uh, Mutualité. Mutualité, exactly. Uh, Rue de, Rue de Rome mm -hmm. or Rue de Echoes. Yeah. And the hotel was near, mm -hmm. and Amar and, and Matthew mm -hmm. and Larry Scolo, they all played together. Exactly. So we went to watch him play, and we heard him play. I heard him playing the guitar. I told Billy Branch, the cat pretty good, man. And, you know, he came to Chicago, and he, he was there for a while, you know, just hanging out, playing around, and he was doing pretty good. A lot of people in Chicago remember him. You know, it's been almost 20 years, but, but still they remember him, the Frenchman. <laughs> I, I call him tonight for the message together. Okay. Okay?